He has a great blend of system surgicality and aggressive playmaking ability in the pocket. But his accuracy is incredible on all levels, especially intermediate throws. Throws somewhere between 10 and 25 yards. He is awesome. Yeah, a player that I think can take a big leap uh, is their wide receiver one, Drake London. He gets a quarterback who on those same in-breaking routes before he got hurt last year was first amongst all quarterbacks in EPA per dropback. So I see this as a very good marriage between the quarterback and the receiver. Welcome on in Atlanta Falcons faithful. We have a beautiful video for you guys today. I want to talk about not just Kirk Cousins, but I really, really want to go player by player on the impact that he's going to have for each of these important stars that we're going to talk about. First dude I want to talk about and why Kirk Cousins is so huge, B. John Robinson. B. John Robinson, B. John Robinson. I genuinely think that, of course, B. John last year, his quarterbacks at play were simply a Desmond Ritter who was never going to be the guy. Uh, there was a hope for it. He had an opportunity. He had a beautiful, beautiful opportunity to be the guy. It didn't work out. Happens all the time. And then next, Taylor Heineke, we just say, hey, let's see if there's anything here. We realize he is a very good, athletic, amazing fill-in backup, but he's not going to be a franchise dude. So many things up in the air with this Falcons front office. I would be very, very interested in what was happening draft night when they see Michael Penix Jr. fall into their lap. So Michael Penix Jr. gets into the building with Kirk Cousins. So we're going to talk about Michael later. But Bijan Robinson, his ability to get so much attention, right? So everything that he did last year, everything that he did last year as a rookie, Bijan Robinson rushed for 976 yards and four touchdowns as a rookie, adding in 58 receptions for 487 yards and four receiving touchdowns. Like, I understand if you hear that for what it is, that's not amazing numbers. I mean, I think they are, honestly, for an NFL standard as a rookie, they are amazing numbers, especially, especially the 58 catches. But 1,400 all-purpose yards and eight touchdowns as a rookie when the quarterback is not the focal point you are? Guys, that's huge. That's massive. That's major. That That's just, that's something that I feel like a lot of people really aren't putting their their eyes on and that's why and i hate to bring it up that's why i wanted desmond gone because you need to get a quarterback that's going to light up the defense and in their own way you know kirk cousins he's not gonna be no patch Mahomes, but kirk cousins is gonna be kirk cousins he's gonna be able to, to throw very nice intermediate balls where the wide receiver does not have to stop running these balls are gonna be high i'm gonna say balls a lot so it's pause on all of it these balls are gonna be so high to where you need drake london to be making these acrobatic catches when all you had to do was just lead him a little bit further or just put it in a vicinity where the DB can't get to it and maybe we'll see Drake London break off a few tackles and take it to the house a few times. We haven't seen this because the ball is always in a compromising position. But with Bijan, gosh, man, Bijan has had probably consistently 10 dudes in the box consistently to stop him. We're going to let everyone else play ball. Everything is just press on these dudes we'll let the scheme kind of open things up for the quarterback but we know it's not going to beat us because we know we're better as a defense than the quarterback you know and i just think what kirk cousins is going to do is he's just going to open up the game beautifully for Bijan robinson now there's a lot of speculators out there that this could be an mdp season for him i'm not away from that but that's just kind of you know that's big time these are that's big level numbers i mean he has to have seasons of a 2012 Adrian Peterson in 2006, Ladanian Tomlinson, Sean Alexander in 05, and then the Hall of Famer in Marshall Falk, okay? And I just don't know if year two, year two is where that happens. But what I do want to say is we're going to see an uptick in his receiving yards. And his catches, couldn't it, that, that could hover around that 50 burger also. But where I'm going to see things really pop up for Mr. Bijan Robinson, it's going to be in this Russian game. I personally believe that if Kirk Cousins and Drake London, who we're about to push to next, can really open up this offense, and the offensive line, we already know, they're all dogs. They're all dogs. It's a, this is a top five offensive line. If this offense can open up in the passing game, what does that mean for Bijan? Truly, honestly, that means he's back at Texas. That means he's going to have these beautiful one-on-one -on -one interactions with safeties and linebackers. I mean, in, in the open field. 
and he's going to be able to easily stiff arm cornerbacks that try to tackle him or play tackle him because they know they don't want to. These all did a lot of phenomenal like highlight reel-esque things of all of the eyes, all 11 eyes on defense. I know I said 10 in the box earlier, but I'm just it's a joke. All 11 people in the box were looking at Bijan and Bijan only, dude. And that's just, that's just how that works. That's just how that is. And so I, we just need Kirk Cousins to come into the building, open up the offense, and he's going to be doing it. I know I said Drake London, but gosh, Kyle Pitts too. I mean, this is the first year where we actually see these guys, these two specimens, these two, you know, very tall, talented, high point target receivers. And you're seeing reports as of now that, you know, Drake London is learning attention to detail from Kirk Cousins. I mean, what kind of mentorship have these receivers, have these skill guys actually even had from the quarterback spot? None. Zero. Zilch. And we all know, we all, I mean, at least I'm not going to speak for y'all anymore. And that's, you know, mainly because I remember I got a lot of hate for, you know, crapping on Ritter. But I'm going to say it like this. I still think without a shadow of a doubt, Kyle Pitts is a top five tight end. And if you ask Miles, if you opened me up through my heart, through my chest, calm down, pause. You're going to see in my heart, I really think with all things considered, he could be a, a top three tight end, honestly, because that's what he is. He's a he's a big wide receiver. That's that's how I see him. That's how I've always seen him, even at Florida. How he had this amazing, crazy streak of not dropping the ball ever. And then he has Kyle Pitts is one of the un most underrated players in the National Football League. I mean that wholeheartedly wholeheartedly and then drake london we don't even know what he is yet we have no idea he could be a michael evans 2.0 he's just a big body push people out of the way he's got the basketball acumen to him to where he's able to box out beautifully like th this offense it's 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 as if the well hasn't even been broken yet like there's water to fill up this hole pause again and, and I, I just think Kirk Cousins and, and the impact that he's going to have within this offense, it's just, it's going under the radar. It is, truly. And then the last dude we got to talk about is Michael Penix Jr. I mean, Kirk Cousins is coming off an Achilles injury, right? And Kirk, they signed the three or four year contract. I'm not sure how long it was, but you guys should have won Michael Penix Jr., man. This is a smart decision. And even more that I think about it, it's beautiful because what you see now is Michael Penix Jr., is also talking to Drake London. Michael Pettig Jr. is also throwing the ball to Kyle Pitts. This may not be a year one thing, a year two thing, but at the end of the day, of only off chance that Kirk Cousins gets hurt, which we do not want. The last time y'all had a left-handed brother at quarterback, some beautiful, beautiful things happened. I mean, last time I remember you had a brother that threw the ball with his left hand and had dynamite coming out of that arm. You made it to an NFC championship game okay and i'm not trying to make crazy comparisons michael Penix jr is nowhere near the athlete of michael vick but hell they got the same name they both left-handed and they both in atlanta they both have talent around them and, uh, and unlike michael vick michael Penix is just gonna have to wait a little bit you just have to wait a little bit that's fine that's fine uh, and so i want to know from all of you who do you think is going to take the biggest jump from all of the young talent do you think it's gonna? Do you think it's gonna be Bijan? Do you think he's going to be able to get that 1,500 rushing yards? You know, about 12 touchdowns on the ground in the end zone. Get another 50 receptions. Maybe we give him 600 yards receiving and maybe six touchdowns through the air. Or is it Drake London, who gives the world a, a, a nice 1,400 receiving yard season? Maybe gets into the end zone eight times, but then has you know 20 amazing acrobatic 50 50 balls that just go straight to him and no one else or are you possibly on the side where kyle pitts literally genuinely gets his name tossed in into the travis kelsey's into the george kittle into the sam laporta i think all three of those could happen uh, very much so i don't know if i'm crazy you guys have no problem with keeping me honest so i want to hear from it i want to hear from all of you what do you guys think like comment and subscribe